confused recently about bold line colored pencils and their light fast ratings? Have you? Hello artists, welcome back. It's good to be back. I hope that you are really excited for this video because I think it's going to be an interesting video. So recently, I came across some misinformation about Holbein colored pencils and some of the confusion that surrounds them and their light fast ratings and how they go about testing their light fast ratings and everything with their pencils. Now, if you have been a subscriber for any amount of time, you know that I am passionate about Holbein colored pencils. In fact, five years ago, I started my channel kind of with showing off Holbein colored pencils, basically. And it was well received, so I feel a little bit of an obligation to tell you guys this information and get the truth out there about how they go about testing their colored pencils. So I went ahead and just called them up <laughs> and I was like, hey, there's some confusion uh, amongst artists and the YouTube community about what's going on with these pencils, okay? And I thought to myself, let's get a statement. Let's get like an actual official notarized statement on how they go about testing their pencils. So that's what they did. And I'm going to read that statement for you today. And hopefully we can clear up any confusion about these wonderful color pencils. Let's go ahead and do that. Hello everyone, voiceover Jane here. So just as a disclaimer, this video is for informational and educational purposes only. So let's take a look at the official document that was sent to me. There's a contact information on the letterhead and it's been notarized in the bottom right hand corner. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want to assure you that this is the, an official document and there's nobody above these folks who can put this document together for the public. So I'll read a brief summary at the top which reads, Holbein of Osaka, Japan has been producing for over 120 years. Holbein is acutely aware of and primarily focused on producing exceptional color, which will deliver superb handling characteristics and excellent light fast ratings. In accordance to this perspective, Holbein tested their color pencil line to the ASTM D6901 light fast standard for artist colored pencils. The ASTM is an American standard for industrial materials and test methods. So from here, we're going to break things down a little bit on how they test their colored pencils for light fastness. So as the first step says, it says prepare test specimens for all color lines as per the ASTM D6901 directions. So gathering up all the colored pencils needed to test them is the first step. And so the second step, though, is where things get a little interesting. So by the way, if you are curious, you can actually purchase a copy of the ASTM D6901 Book of Standards on their website. Second step is to place each batch into a weatherometer to be exposed to xenon arc as per the ASTM D6901 directions. Okay, great, but what is a weatherometer exactly? Simply put, as best as I can, it is a high-tech laboratory machine that uses high-powered light sources, such as carbon arc bulbs, to generate UV light and simulate long-term outdoor exposure and its effects on the colored pencils. I find this machine actually quite fascinating personally, and because of this high-tech method, over a short period of time, you can see the results of what it would look like to have years or even decades of UV exposure happen to these colored pencils. So that's pretty awesome in my opinion. The cost of a weather meter is not cheap at all, folks. I was actually informed that the specific weather meter that Holbein uses for the testing of their products is about eight feet high and $2 million. I will be providing links to sources in the description box below because it's a pretty awesome machine in my opinion and you may want to go check it out for yourself. I highly recommend reading up on it. Okay, so moving on to the third step, we've gone through testing everything in the weatherometer and now it says use a spectrophotometer to measure and quantify the changes in the test specimens, i.e. the colored pencils, after it has been exposed to the xenon arc in the weatherometer. A spectrophotometer is actually, it's a device that measures light intensity as a wavelength and it is widely used in such fields as physics, material science, chemistry, biochemistry, etc. And I'm not going to try and understand all of the science behind it, but there's some interesting information out there on it. And it's also a vital step as it helps the quality of the colored pencils stay consistent. So there's an interesting article that I've linked below about how colored pencil manufacturers actually use spectrophotometer spectrophotometry. Gotta, gotta learn how to say that. <laughs> so how colored pencil manufacturers use spectrophotometry to achieve consistent colors and maintain production efficiency. So the spectrophotometer can actually quantify not only physically but numerically to see any of these changes. 
So finally, the fourth step is to quantify the results after using the spectrophotometer and complete a cross-reference using the ASTM 6901 standard to the whole bind light fast rating system below. The numbers quantified are indicated using the EAB symbol. And the smaller the numbers are, the stronger the light fast rating is. So what that means is that these ratings are in accordance with these ratings in the ASTM D6901 scale. It can actually look a little confusing at first glance, but the star rating is actually opposite to the light fast Roman numerals. So for instance, the more stars that there are, the lower the number over here is going to be. So to inform you and let you know, in case you don't have this colored pencil set of the 150 set, I went ahead and whipped mine out and I actually looked through all of the colored pencils and I only found 12 colors that are actually fugitive colors with the one star light fast rating. And that's not including the six neon colors because I feel like everybody kind of knows that those are fugitive colors. I'd say that this is pretty cut and dry for anyone who was curious or confused about this topic. So let's take a look at their about section real quick from the site holbindartistmaterials.com. Holbein color chemists, using only the finest pigments available, have achieved the highest standards of quality control in the industry, working to precise standards at each stage of the manufacturing process. The result is an unerring consistency from production run to production run. Each of the 16 artists' grade color lines is adapted to meet the special requirements of the professional slash serious artists with permanence, brilliance, and technique in mind. The full range of Holbein color products offer unique characteristics which sets them apart from all competitive lines regardless of origin. Okay, so some examples of this are really apparent, of course, in their unique line of colors in the color pencil line, which this is why you're here, of course, and that includes the beloved pastels. And also another example is that their designer gouache does not shift lighter or darker once it's dry, which is obviously a common problem in most designer gouache. And their designer gouache also, big, big, big plus, does not include whitening agents. So these unique characteristics are some of what personally makes them one of my favorite brands. In addition to this, Holbein actually owns 70%, 70% of the market in Southeast Asia. And many serious professional artists like Rebecca Green and Yoko Higuchi hold Holbein in high regard. Both of these artists have actually collaborated with Holbein to create special editions of their watercolor and gouache sets. So one final note, it's also worth mentioning at the bottom of this statement that Holbein's artist colored pencils are manufactured with 100% PEFC wood, which is forest protected wood. That's pretty cool. And that's something definitely to feel good about whenever you use them. I really do hope that this has actually put your mind at ease and that you have a little bit more confidence if you already own these pencils that you can use them in your professional work. I hope that if you are thinking about buying these pencils that this has encouraged you to make that decision in the wisest way possible for you. And I really just, I think it's important to put the truth out there and put the information out there that is necessary for us to uncover as artists. And I encourage you guys that if you ever have any questions to actually contact the company in a way that you can talk to somebody who is in the higher ups. Any reputable company is going to be more than willing and more than happy to speak with you directly. And so question things. And if you're interested in more color pencil, watercolor, or gouache videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button with all those notification bells on. You know the job, you know it by now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Stay creative, stay inspired, and be kind to people. Okay, bye. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. That's enough of that. <clears throat> this is I need to loosen up in front of the camera so I can talk to y'all. Okay? Ratings. And I thought, let's just go ahead and read this statement. I'd be happy to. And I'm going to go with it through. Okay. This. Okay. I feel like I look like peppermint. <laughs> Hope that you will come back and I hope that you will like this video because I think it's important that people know about this. So, can't f***ing talk, I'm just talking.